Hello, hello. It's Friday and welcome to another weekend vlog. I'm in the tunnel heading from Sac to Eagle Center right now. Oh, such a great vlogger today. We are at Chaw Time. Even though Dr. Food is tomorrow, but it's not okay. We watch Chaw Time. This Chaw Time. There's Brandon. He was extra thirsty. It's all gone. We are now at Santa Box for dinner. We got a salad. We also got a salad. And now he's trying to slowly swirl his Thai iced tea because there's no straws. <laughs> Good job. Look at his smug face. That smug Brandon. Look what Brandon got. Happy meal for the box and everything because they have pull the toilet out so don't spill out all your fries. What's in your happy meal? Unboxing. <laughs> it's a pie face. I don't really understand how this works. You just pie this guy. Oh, what a lame toy. I don't we like are hot now. I'm just lying on the couch and we've been doing this for how long now? Like 20, 30 minutes perhaps. I'm so tired, but I'm also hungry, so I feel weak. <laughs> um, obviously, basil box is not enough. It's never enough, for dinner at least for me. Uh, so we ordered some more food. We're getting some Caribbean food, so hopefully it'll come soon because I'm so hungry. Anyway. The my order came in from Desiam. I think we all made panic orders after um, they closed the stores the other day. I ordered this, I think, was it the Friday? I don't know. It took like a week for it to come, basically. Um, the Abnormal Beauty Company, Desiam. And this is what I ordered. A billion buffets. Uno. Dose, whoops, Trez, and then a 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil. I've never even tried this before, but I'm gonna try it. The, this I've tried and I love. I also bought, picked up a few items, I think last weekend, yeah, from the Bay. That's why I didn't have to pick it up. I bought an argan oil that I've never tried from this brand, but I like argan oil in general. And also the, um, what was it? It was like the something B5. It's like the super moisturizer serum. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway. Remember I said I ordered food. It's friggin' 20 after 12 now. There's no food. <laughs> we ordered Caribbean Sunset via DoorDash. And I don't know how their system works, but it doesn't seem like they assign people or make sure that people are assigned or as they call them, dashers, are assigned to orders before they send the orders to the restaurant. I don't, I don't understand that at all. Now I'm just weak and I need to complain and I'm hungry. So I think I placed this order like quarter to 11 and I'm not going to get it until at least like half past midnight. What is that? 10.45 to 11.45 is an hour. Almost two hours. It's called DoorDash. Please see, like, the irony of that. <laughs> I can't <I'm> die. <clears throat> How do you feel? Was it Swiss? Yeah, Swiss was another one. Oh my god. Did we ever film that? I know, probably. But we ended up getting that whole meal comped because they took over two hours to deliver two quarter chicken dinners. We know never to order Swiss from my house again. It's just a bad location. Finally here. Saddest part though. I had a whole explanation from the delivery guy. They wrote me a note, the restaurant, because they didn't have the salad or the coleslaw I wanted in my meal. So they added plantain here and extra chicken instead. 
But I mean, his chicken, my chicken, what's the huge difference here? He got his whole meal, all the carbs, they're available. He got his potato curry and his rice and beans. His looks so good, but it's full of carbs. So I'm just gonna eat this box of chicken. Forgo the plantains. What a Hello, hello. It is Saturday afternoon and I just went to Dr. Poo's. Sad. I gained like two pounds this two weeks. Um, one and a half of it was water and I think I'm just gonna blame the jerk chicken from last night. It was so funny. We had a conversation saying if you had that chicken like a week ago, it probably wouldn't show up in your weigh-in, but because you had it so close to your weigh-in, it totally shows up. But I was hungry. What you gonna do? Also, um, right now we're at, back in for lunch. I'm gonna get my wraps on. He's gonna get his spa and yeah. We're gonna go smash a cup today. I'm super excited. I forgot the whole reason why I pulled out my camera. Look what this a-hole came in wearing. You're like kind of backlit, but look what he's wearing. Look what he's wearing. And he changed after the fact. Look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. He chose to wear the same shirt. How do you? Now at Tack NYC, and it just opened, I think, recently. Um, and look, they're all here. There's a huge wait for it. We got so lucky because there was like barely no line. There's like an Instagram section here. It's hilarious. They can't wait to get this part. We got a free unicorn floaty because this weekend has a promotion. The unicorn pieces and all the sprinkles and the rainbow mochi. Unicorn kayaki, so cute. Oh my god, a floaty. And we came just in time because now the line is like crazy long inside. But look at Canada. So excited. Is, they ran out of black sesame and hoji chops, so we have to get matcha. We're currently at the bay, and there's a Dylan's candy bar down here now. Oh my god. So cute. Currently at the and I chose my cup and I'm gonna smash this cup. It's weak and I'm not weak. My friend's like, she's weak. I'll oh, smash it. I'll oh, smash it. I'm so excited. And we're gonna go get geared up upstairs and Brandon's gonna stay down because they're gonna record a video and send it to me. Hey, first try. Amazing work. Just get more. That's it. That's all you need. Amazing. Just stay a chance. I just smashed the cup and I'm sweating because I was in that goggle thing, but it was so much fun. Did you film it? Um, it was like pretty easy. Not weak, strong. Okay, we're gonna try tea. It's the Tetley Super Tea, not your average cup of tea. We're currently at Chad's Time Innovation Park. Look, it's my toy. And look, we're triplets. Diego's trying to run away because I'm trying to show you he's wearing a green shirt. So Cindy and Diego make Brandon. <laughs> Where'd he go? So when I was living at Cindy's, my Airbnb, I uh, left them three presents. The first one was our, like, when they came home, they saw it right away. I don't know if it was in the vlogs, but it was the Jolly Bee Sharpener for Diego. And then I left Cindy a mug. Again, I don't know if it was in the vlogs. But it was her initial mug and I just, I cleaned it and I left it in her cupboard. And then she found out like, I don't know, a few weeks later. <laughs> and then I told them there was a third present that I left in their car and they can't find it. Guys. Guys, do you want to know what it is? Yeah, what is it? It's I Support Cadets. <laughs> a third one. one! Oh man, you <laughs> <laughs> I know. We are now at QB for Jackie Park here who took off her shirt so she didn't look the same as me. And it's really hot. And Diego and Brandon. And they all nodded and you smiled. 
Dad's here and we're cooking. Look at all the food. We are now back. You don't like chocolate? We're now at chocolate. Look, look who's behind the camera. What do you, what do you want? Ah! Go, go, go. This is the saddest bop it ever. Ready? Okay, sorry. This is how you play this bop it. Roll the dice. Bop it. Oh man, that's too complicated. You have to add two actions. So let me try again. Oh, bop it. Okay, I'll do pull it, pull it. <laughs> then you think spin it. So pull it, pull it. Spin it, spin it. Oh man, another bop it. Okay, I'll do switch it. Pull it. Realizing you spent ten dollars on Happy Meal toys, could have bought a real game already. <laughs> hello, hello, and it is Sunday afternoon. It is currently noon, exactly on point, and I just made myself a cup of tea, and we're gonna have a part of this pecan butter tart that I got from the farm. It's still going strong. We got some oatmeal cookies from I think they're from TNT. And I stole a bag of chips from City yesterday. This is a well run breakfast, isn't it? And it's half past one now and we finally got food. I ordered some Cluck Clucks, my favorite like fried chicken in the city. Um that's not like a franchise. And here's the fried chicken, here's the large fries, and here are the waffles. This was like a promo because they opened a new Cluck Clucks, I think, on Queen West. I think this is the promo for that. I know they have a new Cluck Clucks on Queen West. This one's from the um, uh, St. Lawrence Market area one, and this was like $20 delivered. Or not delivered, but $20, and then there's delivery or via Foodora. They had a special on there. And it's fine here because it took like over 50 minutes um hello i just came back from grocery shopping i did bring you along but i didn't pull my camera because i was just rushing to try to get everything and not forget anything I hopefully didn't forget anything we have a huge bag of groceries for tonight's dinner i'm making italian aka spaghetti bolognese with spicy hot italian sausages um nothing is really from scratch so no judgment there but i was really craving spaghetti i also bought parmesan cheese and they had this mozzarella ball on sale so i'm gonna try to incorporate that because i think it's gonna be amazing and yeah now we're just waiting for cindy to pick me up because first i was planning to go there ourselves but these groceries are really heavy so she should come pick me up and i'm just gonna eat this little apple now from my Apple picking. Ooh, it doesn't feel that hard. I don't know. Hope it's still good. Um, yeah. And he's sitting here eating maple fudge. How is it, Brandon? Like, we are now at Cindy's, and I need to start prepping dinner because I told mom and dad to come at six. I don't know if I'll be done. <gasps> Anyways, if I don't finish, they'll be hangry. A state of anger caused by lack of food. Hunger causing a negative change in emotional state. Which is what we use. Cooking is starting. I'm just heating up this wok now because Cindy used the only pan in her house. I've sliced up some mushrooms, white mushrooms. I've got some diced onion. That was a Spanish onion. I got some I um, cherry or plum tomatoes, whatever, in half. We bought some Almer accents, Italian. Um, I'm starting off with this Victoria White Linen Marinara Sauce. If that's not enough, then I bought another bottle of Classico Roasted Garlic and Onion Sauce. This one I stole from Cindy. And then I zoodled my zucchini. I have some the, the edges, the edges, the leftover zucchini chopped in pieces. Then I have this extra lean ground beef. And then I have some hot Italian sausages. Here's my semolina spaghetti. I got some pre-made garlic bread I can throw in the oven later. And Cindy made this little treat for us. It's a ruffles square. Ruffle squares. They'll become ruffle squares. They look good. I and got my spaghetti done. 
Now I'm cooking up this meat, onion, mushroom concoction. So I originally had to cook on this because there's only one big pot. And then this is the can of tomatoes with the cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna put that in there next. And then we're gonna need to pour the sauce in. I honestly don't think that this pot's gonna hold everything. So I might just do a sausage bake on the side. We this will. is my pasta bake. I thought the cheese was gonna spread out some more, so I regret not putting more cheese on it. But that's a little bit of 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 a little you're a deli style. Oh so now it's actually Monday, but I forgot to end my vlog yesterday. Um, I don't even know what the last thing I vlogged was last night. But yeah, we came home and we just didn't do anything anymore. <laughs> but I just want to say thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next weekend. Bye!